<laughs> What's going on internet? JT Blackhawk here with Not Enough Knives. Wanted to review a knife that I've been looking at for a while now. This one is a SOG Aegis, AE-01. It's one of the few SOGs that are also made in the USA, which is something that I absolutely love. Very, very neat knife. Comes in a lot of finishes. Let's take a quick look to see what this knife is all about. Let's use our trusty little leak here to pop this tab. Immediately what you will notice about this knife is style and the texture of it. it. has a SOG patented name across these oval grooves, also raised in the center but cut right around the letters. There we go, that's pretty cool. You also notice an extra switch back here. This is a safety. When the safety is engaged, your knife will not deploy. That's one of the few things about this knife that is actually kind of cool. A SOG clip, which I call extreme deep carry. I don't know what name they put on it, but as you can see, the clip does not start anywhere attached to the handle. It actually recesses about three millimeters comes back around and then around the knife. That's amazing. So basically when your knife is in your pocket, it looks like a pen. It's just a freaking clip. That's all it is. It's pretty amazing. Deployment comes out pretty quickly. The actual blade is a satin on this model, the AE-01. Now there's a couple models for this knife. There is the uh, digital camo with the black blade. And there's also a few more renditions of I think Desert Tan and then there's another olive one and there's a full black one. There's an S30V one. Knife, one of the main things that sets it apart right away is the locking mechanism. This is not a, a liner lock as you guys are used to pushing here on the choil right on the liner and letting the blade come loose to put it away. And some of you are used to using a lock back. There's no lock back and there's no liner lock. This is a side lock mechanism. It has some kind of a mechanism in here in the handle that disengages knife from the back, as you can see right here. Blade shape is what I like to call a drop spear. So it's kind of drop point and it's kind of spear shaped at the same time, but yet the knife is also flat ground. So it makes for a beautiful design. As you can see, it's a patented design as well. I do like the traction because it has all these little random grooves, which believe it or not, they do offer some very good grip when you need it. It's got some jimping on the Zytel handle and some amazing jimping on the back of the blade. That's a good jimping right there. It also has some jimping on the back of the handle this way to make for a good reverse grip. Let's get to some talking points real quickly. I've changed this one around just a little bit, but I think I'm gonna keep this, this layout here because it kind of covers everything. Tactical use, I had to give this knife a five star because of the traction combined with the ergonomics in reverse grip. It also has some amazing traction here in the finger troll area. For tactical use, definitely, this is a pretty good self-defense knife for being a pocket knife. Hunting and camping, you know, it's not exactly the best knife for them, but I definitely give them still straight uh, three stars because you cut paracord, you could set up shelters, you do all kinds of skinning and filleting if you have to. The blade is very well designed for that because of its flat ground. EDC, the only reason I didn't give it five stars is because of the size. This is relatively a large knife. Got about four and a half to five inch closed. Maybe got an eight overall because the blade, I know it's about three inches. Utility use, yeah, why not? You could carry this knife around, beat it up a little bit, and it, it seems like it'll still put up a fight. I've seen a couple YouTube videos where this knife has survived. Pretty good all around everyday use. Food prep, definitely give it four stars because it's flat ground. It's well suited to do a variety of chopping, dicing, slicing, mechanical use. Well, I wouldn't personally throw it in the toolbox. In a pinch, if you don't have any other knife on you, this knife will do some wire cutting and a few other tasks. I just wouldn't use it for prying myself. Traction, I, we talked about it earlier. It has all these little miniature SOG engraved grooves right here. It's got all these little raised grooves right here on the handle. It's got the amazing jimped rear end right here. Traction is just amazing. Deployment, I'm gonna give it a three star because uh, there's nothing wrong with the deployment at all. It's actually pretty flawless. Knife comes out very easy, no problems at all. The only problem is that since it is a bigger and heavier blade, it doesn't have the exact speed most people would actually want. Ergonomics goes right along with the traction. I'm gonna give it a five star. Although it may not fit everybody's hands, it's made for a greater variety of hands. I think that SOG definitely made a knife that most people can hold and grab onto and it won't go nowhere. Build quality and construction. I'm gonna review these together. Build quality, I took a star away because, check it out, bam, off center. I've taken this knife apart, I put it back together, I cannot get that blade in the center. So I know that's minimal to some people, but an avid knife collector, that's gonna mean something to you. Construction, it's a solid SOG blade made in the USA. What else could I say? The quality of the materials can't be beat. Budget talk, price point and value. Value, definitely four stars. The only reason the price point is three stars is because depending on the model you want, and we're gonna get into options now, you're gonna have to pay a certain price. And that's where options comes in. As far as price point for the individual uh, knives, hey, you know, 
Maybe a 40, 50, 60, 70, and $80 knife is not affordable to anybody, but there are the options, and that's why we got five stars here. You can get the stainless with the satin blade, you can get the black with the black, you can get the camo with the black. SOG offers us a wide variety of options for this knife. I think that they did a good deed for us by that because it's such a beautiful blade. A lot of us want to add it to our collections or even carry it and use it. That's where variety comes into play. So thank you, SOG. Thank you, you guys, for watching this video. If you need to know anything about this knife, I posted a link to the direct website where I bought mine. The folks at SOG-Knives.com or .net, I'm sorry. They really, really took care of me. They'll take care of you. Hope you guys got some useful details out of this. If you have any questions or comments, please post them. I always love getting some feedback. I'll talk to you later. See ya.